Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today we are down in Dallas, Texas doing a project here where we're going to be gutting some old equipment and doing a new Sonos distributed audio system as well as a, a cool little uh, backyard projection uh, upgrade. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today. Take a look, we have some of our equipment here. Sonos Connect, which is plugging into the surround sound system for the customer's uh, media room, as well as uh, we are doing a Pro Control universal remote system. One button press, touch screen, makes it very easy for the customer to operate everything. And we are doing uh, radio frequency processors, the Pro Link on this, so that uh, everything can be controlled with all of the equipment over in the closet. And that way they don't have to point the remote anywhere. We're doing one for the media room and one for the patio. Sonos amps. So these are the, the new 125 watt channel versus the old 55 watt channel. And we're gonna be using this to uh, drive six zones of distributed audio. So six separate amps. And then the Sonos Connect will be our seventh for the surround sound zone. And we're gonna be putting a Sonos Boost on. Sonos Boost just gives us the uh, ability to um, strengthen the Sonos network a little bit. This piece is only 99 bucks and just kind of uh, eliminates any skips to laser drops, especially if there's no aftermarket Wi-Fi system in place. We're gonna be putting in a Blu-ray player and a couple Apple TVs as well. Right here. Um, we are also installing a rack. You guys have seen this a lot in our videos. This is a strong SRFS series. This is fully assembled, has all the glass doors on it, rack, uh, shelves, as well as ventilation. Everything that you need is all in that kit. So, out here on the back patio, we're going to be putting in this customer supplied 1080p 2150, replacing this old uh, 720, actually I think it was only 480 uh, projection system that is out here, it's just an in focus. It went bad from the elements. We're gonna be putting in this new one and running an HDMI cable up into the attic space and all the way back to our rack, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, which is over in the media room. And it's broadcasting onto this uh, 16 by nine screen here that is motorized and drops out of the uh, custom built panel here. And we're gonna integrate that into the remote system as well to automate everything. There are some in-ceiling speakers already installed. You can see we're gonna run this as a um, typical just two-channel system, not surround sound because there is no center speaker or sub. But it'll be pretty cool. And then I'm giving the customer a reference to somebody that can help them close that in a little bit more to help with the elements. Either way, um, he went with an inexpensive projector because more than likely the projector will go bad again at some point. Kind of one of the risk of putting an indoor projector outside. But it is um, gonna be pretty cool. Back here, we have the media room. You can see it has a Klipsch bookshelf speakers, just a five channel system. And we're actually pulling out the center speaker. And you can hear it's damaged um, we're gonna be taking the shelf off the wall and putting on the Klipsch RP 240 Grayson you can tell is uh, getting pretty excited to do a little demo I just I love it <laughs> the customer already gutted some of the shelving we're gonna take all this out you can see it's kind of just uh, rigged right now uh, with some Home Depot you know cheap shelving and everything's just jammed in here we're gonna rip out all of this and rewire everything really nice and clean uh, down to the bottom of the wall and put everything into our rack Grayson's gonna go ahead and get this party started and I'm gonna you know check out the attic space and try to get an idea of exactly what we're working with up there we're gonna get all our lines extended and make this look really nice for the customer Grayson's having fun already. Just ripping all of this out. You can see, um, looks like we had a DIY -er on our hands here. All of this wire is not in wall rated. Um, I just want to let you guys know because 
this is not our installation primarily we're coming in on this after the fact so if you're seeing these wires and you're like those aren't up to code we're aware <laughs> we are just uh coming in doing our best to clean this up and and get everything functional the wiring was so bad that the customer's amp actually blew so we're just gonna get all our lines tested check connections do the best we can we're not gonna rewire this whole house we're just gonna you know do our best to get it up and operational and cleaned up see grayson has his drop cloth down here on the floor we respect your home that is the dream media difference check out these booties Bootay. these are not a fashion statement it's not really a good idea to have amps and stuff loaded on more of a power strip is what this is it's definitely a power strip Ooh, yeah fire yeah and extension cords um this is extremely dangerous guys um when you jam a bunch of equipment in here like this especially high powered uh equipment like amplifiers and you're running it off of you know eight dollar power strips um it and i've seen it many times it's it's liable to uh start a fire the blow up yeah not necessarily blow up but the the terminals actually melt and it'll catch fire so you got to be careful just for the safety of your your home and your kids <laughs> all right you made a whole a huge mess but don't worry guys look we catch it all okay guys we're moving along got all the equipment gutted i got all our shelves knocked out and got all of our uh wiring identified uh, now we're going to use what's called a speaker toner and we're going to test all of our speakers and all of our lines just to ensure that they are good uh, this is a flute networks toner you can pick this up at home depot, home depot. 70 bucks um so it's red and black to red and black on the speakers and it just sends a signal through um you'll hear it on the other end verifying that the connections are good pretty simple little tool but very helpful in diagnosing uh wiring okay so the speaker toner is hooked up and we actually have it hooked up to all four speakers at once just to make things a little bit quicker because there are so many speakers in this home do you hear it we got a tone there we have a tone there. Have a tone there. And we have a tone there. We're gonna go through the entire house and do this exact same thing through every single, every single speaker. All right guys, check it out. We're working on getting everything rewired. I got my... 16.4 wire for my different distributed audio zones, patio, master, dining room, kids room, living room, and kitchen. All labeled and Grayson's working on uh, getting all that spliced into the old wiring now. And um, we're just going to keep on working on rewiring. Not a whole lot to really film, but... Um, we could once, use some we, help. Yeah, if anybody wants to come on over, this isn't... we could use a hand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. I got our six Sonos amps unboxed. These are 125 watts a channel, and in some rooms we're using it to power out four speakers, and in certain rooms we're using it to power out two speakers. Um, basically, we have it divided out into rooms that are most suited for how the customer would actually utilize the space. So, what's recommended from the manufacturers two speakers, just so that you guys know, per amp, um, but if you want to be a little risky, you can put four speakers on there. I wouldn't recommend any more than that without a speaker selector. Um, now, if you look here on the uh, back of the amplifier, you have your right and left. You can see just two speakers is what's designed to be hooked up to these. Um, you also have an input for analog, and then you have your sub out, and then Ethernet and HDMI for ARC in case you want to hook a TV up to it, audio return channel in, so that you can select the uh, content on the television to play through the speaker system. 
Biggest difference between these and what you guys have seen us use in the past are is the power rating and the audio return channel that's built into the amplifier. So we're gonna take these six amps and we're gonna get them connected to our six zones. And then we're gonna put a Sonos Connect on our receiver as an input so that he can select the media room as well as all these other zones to pair together whenever he's entertaining. Now, let me show you, uh, there are a couple other pieces that come with this. There are power cords and there are banana pins. I'm not sure why they did this. I actually preferred, I think they're trying to make it a little too fancy. What I preferred before was the push button. It was a lot easier to get our wires input. Now you actually have to come in and unscrew these connectors, input your wire, screw it down, and then you line up the red and the black like that and push it in. I mean, it's cool and all, but personally, I'm not a huge fan. So we're gonna go ahead and get these put into our rack. All right, guys, next we're going to be installing our rack. Grayson's just finishing on the wiring in there. So this is the Strong FS series rack system you see us use all the time. I love this rack just because it comes fully assembled and ready to go. It doesn't take additional labor for us like the custom installer or some of the Mid-Atlantic products. All the casters are on it, all the shelves are put in. I got a nice glass door here on the front. And you can see they do a really nice job of packaging it. Um, as well as uh, they have a lock. There's fans right here in the top. All the side panels come off so that I can easily wire it and then cover everything up when I'm done. Give it a real, really nice clean finish. You look, every single side is fully enclosed. And then there's a pass through right here and there's a knockout on top for your wiring, depending on where you're gonna bring it in at. And then up here on top, there's fans. Really nice wheels on it as well that do lock into place down here. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead and get it rolled into the other room and get all of our shelves adjusted to the appropriate height and start getting things connected. If you guys would like to purchase this rack, we do have it in stock and ready to go. Nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. All right, we're moving along guys. Okay guys, so we're moving right along. We got our rack set up and we're gonna go ahead and uh, tackle this outside projector situation. If you look here on the outside, we don't, we're not working with a whole lot of attic space, actually pretty much none. We got a little less or more than a foot up there that we're gonna shoot the wiring between the, the peak of the roof. And we're gonna be running two cat six cables as well as two HDMI's to kind of future-proof the customer. That way they'll be all set no matter what version of HDMI comes out in the future. We're gonna get it done. All right guys, so we're moving right along. The big uh, accomplishment here was we just got the fish tape fished all the way from the main attic over to here. You can see Grayson has a hold of it now. We had to pop out one of the speakers over here, but basically it's going from there up to there and up and then all the way across to here we're getting it done all right guys check it out we're replacing this in focus that burnt out and we're putting in the home cinema 2150 this is just a cheap little 1080p perfect throw for this space we're gonna be broadcasting right here onto that drop down screen and then uh, i'll show you what's going on inside all right check it out guys um, we're starting to get all our devices in the rack just uh, roughly where we're gonna put them. And uh, we're working on getting some cabling issues fixed in here. Uh, Grayson, you want to tell them what's going on and what's wrong with this scenario here? Well, if you love your children like I love my children, um, you're gonna wanna not do this because it is a fire hazard. Even if you taste it like this, it's still very dangerous. And uh, what we're yeah. gonna do so we're gonna put a new power outlet in, an actual power outlet up to city code, and uh, get this fire hazard out of here, so you don't burn, burn the house down or your neighbors, the whole neighborhood, maybe the forest next door. I mean, come on. You never know what you could burn down. You know, it starts here, ends there. You know what that bear would say, Smokey. Smokey the bear does not like electrical hazards. No, no, no. Mm -mm. That's why we're here to do Smokey. 
To the rescue. To the rescue. <laughs> All right, we're doing something else too while we're here. See how beefy this man is? We're just gonna put a slimmer one on here for him while we're at it and make it sit really nice and flush to the wall. All right, a few things, guys. Um, we're putting in a power outlet receptacle, yanked out that extension cord, and then for some reason, they just had the wire being fished from right here to here across the wall. I don't think you knew how to drill through the stud, so we're just gonna put everything in the wall so that it looks good and get it all fished down, uh, looking nice and clean, no wire showing. Thank God we came out to this house. Another code violation. Literally just had the TV power cord going right up through the wall over here and didn't even bother to put a plate on it. If you guys are gonna DIY it, Make sure you DIY it properly so you don't burn your house down. Um, we're going to go ahead and just pull this down, put a new TV up, you know, get an outlet pulled from down here and uh, make all the connections. All right, now it's starting to look like Dream Media was here. Power outlet in, pass box on, all the wires coming through, everything up to code. I even took the wire that was going from here to here and ran it through the stud and down. I'm going to get the TV mounted up um, and the center speaker mounted and then the customer can get all these holes repaired whenever he desires. All right guys, Grayson's getting the bracket adjusted on the back of the TV right now. And it's just a level 32 inch we're putting in the kitchen. We just brought everything up to city code, installed an electrical outlet, tapping off this one down here, up behind the TV. This was already here uh, previously and uh, the TV is gonna cover it. But we, we did put this outlet in so that we can put the direct TV box up behind it. All right, so that's a wrap on the kitchen TV, 32 inch, all the wires concealed. We just have the little mini genie strapped up behind it so they can select HDMI number one. It has a radio frequency remote, so we're good to go there. Simple uh, setup for a one room situation like this. All right, guys, we're moving along. It's getting pretty late in the day. We've been working really hard to get all this stuff up to, oh, yeah. you know, code and wire it in properly. You can see we have all our banana pins for our Senos amps and Grayson has all the surround sound uh, zones tipped and now and show you what's going on out here so i was able to get this projector wired in it was pretty difficult um, but we got all the wiring a couple hdmis and i got a cat 6 for future use and then i'm going to use this cat 6 for ir um, which you can see i haven't put the tip on there yet but i'm working on it got it all zip tied up and then our wires are going into the ceiling right there and i just finished the calibration onto the drop down screen we're moving along stay tuned these are the remotes that we're going to be using i'm going to program the pro 24 r one button press touchscreen remote and the pro link radio frequency transmitter processor and this basically gives the ability for the customer to control everything that's in the closet without pointing the remote anywhere and then this is a charging station because there is no batteries for the Pro 24R. And we're also gonna do another one, remote. Well, I gotta switch this out, but remote processor and dock uh, for the patio. Now I just gotta get it all programmed. You can see I already got my programming in for Smart TV, Direct TV, Blu-ray, Apple TV, Sonos, and Wii for the media room. What is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and we wrapped up this project down in Dallas. Pretty cool Sono system, seven different zones of audio as well as this outside projection system. This is just 1080p. We got a couple devices plugged into this, uh, Apple TV and a DirecTV Genie. And all of that's being controlled through a Pro Control one button press touchscreen remote. And the customer has flexibility to do audio separate from video so he can have the game going out here as well as like music playing. For example, right now I'm on the Apple TV and I can get my music going. You can also have the game going through these speakers, which is pretty cool. Let me show you what's going on inside, guys. So we did seven separate zones with Sonos amps and Sonos Connect for the surround sound. So as you make it your way into this room of the house, we do have speakers in here as well. I'm going to start it up for you, and it's all independently controllable, so I can come right in, and I can turn up this room, living room, and you can even independently play your music throughout the entire house, so like mom and dad can be back in their bedroom, 
listening to their music. Kids could be in their rooms listening to their music. I'm not going to take you into their personal space, but I do just want to show you that the audio is working in that space. So you come into master bedroom, turn up the volume. It's as easy as that. So like it's only playing in that one room, which is really cool. So let me show you. Uh, we also have the same thing going over here in the kids' rooms. Again, I don't really want to take you into their personal space, but... Yeah, so with one button press, the kids can even have music going in their room, just like this. And it's only playing in their room, kid's bedroom. Keep in mind, this is independently selectable. So, I'm going to take you through the house, show you that it is working in these rooms as well. So, this is the dining room. And even in the laundry room. So literally throughout the entire home, they have really nice distributed audio. So whenever they're entertaining, they can barely have these going everywhere. And it gives a really cool vibe for the party. Now the difference is, is this is surround sound. This is a 5.1. Just like that, party's over. So you guys can see Sonos is extremely easy to use, extremely uh, compatible with many different sources so you can have independent content going throughout the entire home whether it's apple music pandora title spotify whatever um, it's got plenty of options for everybody in the whole home now everything is terminating back here in this rack we had to do a gut job i mean this house was in rough shape i think we had a di wire uh, that basically just jammed all the equipment in up here and used a bunch of wiring that's not in wall rated there was splicing going on a bunch of code violations we did our best to tidy all that up and get it in this really nice enclosure that cleans everything up you can see we have all of our devices spaced out well grayson if you want to get in there and just show them and we have it search protected the top are all our devices and then down on the bottom we have the amplifiers the receiver for the theater room, and then at the very, very bottom, you have all your Sonos amps. And that does have a lock on it, so you can keep the kids out of there. All right, well, that's a wrap. This is just a typical installation, guys. Sonos is awesome for new construction as well as retrofit, like we're using it here. We are a dealer for Sonos, and pretty much every company that relates to home theater. So if you guys would like to purchase a product and you don't live in Dallas, it's okay. Give us a call. We really would appreciate your business as a small business. We have a low price guarantee and free shipping. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching. Yeah.